I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Today is a very special day. It's a winter's day, but it's a peaceful day. There's no wind. We are sitting in the little dining room in my wife's guest house, and we are going to tell you a nice story. So please sit back and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and listen to the Word of God. We start off in the first, um, in uh, Psalm 85 and verse 2. You have forgiven the iniquity, that's the sin, of your people. You have covered all their sin. Jesus died for your sin and Jesus died for my sin. And then we go to Jeremiah chapter 3 and I'm reading verse 5. The question is, will he remain angry forever? Because all of us are sinners. And the answer is a very definite no. He will not remain angry forever. Remember, he offered up his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a beautiful beautiful promise from God. We serve a God that's not walking around with a big stick beating his sheep. No, he is a good shepherd. He doesn't even use sheepdogs to herd up his sheep. He calls them by name and they follow after him. I want to say to you today that maybe you're feeling guilty. Some people have, especially when they come to Christ, they say to me, but how can God forgive me for the life I had before? He can and he's willing and he won't hold any iniquity ongoing. He will forgive you if you confess and if you change your ways. You know, that is such an important thing because that guilt literally will weigh you down so that you can't move. And I know a lot of people, and maybe I'm talking to you today, sir, and I'm going to pray for you in a minute. And you say, I just I want to follow Jesus, but the, my past is so bad, I don't think God will ever forgive me. Now, I understand about forgiveness, and I want to tell you a little story. Just on the other side of the farm, there is a huge wetland. It's got reeds that are 12 foot high. Now, in the winter, everything gets frosted. So all those green reeds, they just go snow white. It's like a tinderbox ready to explode. Now, on both sides of this big, I'm talking thousands of hectares, on both sides of this wetland are farms like this one. So what happens is we burn a fire break along the edge of the, our farm so that if there was a fire, it wouldn't jump into the wetland and then the whole district would be um, subject to fire. I was burning my fire break the one day and a wind got up from the wrong direction. The fire jumped into the wetland and the whole wetland was on fire. I tell you what, I've never felt so terrible in my life. I got on the radio on my pickup and I told all the farmers, I am so sorry, but the fire has jumped into the wetland. You need to protect your farms, which they duly did. But you know, after we managed to put the fire out, and I tell you what, the whole sun was blocked out by these black clouds of smoke. These farmers forgave me. I said, I am so sorry. And they forgave me. You know, it was so wonderful. Farmers stick together when the going gets tough. You need to understand God wants to forgive you. Please pray this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, today I am so sorry for the way in which I have lived. I don't want to live like that anymore. Please forgive me. And today, I promise I will serve Jesus Christ for the rest of my life. Amen. God bless you. Until next time, keep well. Bye.